find it tonight. These are a pretty familiar sight these days. If you've ever injured your knee, ankle, or any part of your leg, really, the chances are that you'll have been given one of these a crutch or an NHS walking stick. <laughs> But some of these are not quite what they seem. Over in Marsden, high above Huddersfield, they have a rather musical use for them. Danny Carpenter has been investigating. When it comes to musical instruments, there are no limits to man's imagination. This, for example, is a didgeridoo. This is a contrabass clarinet. And this, this is a National Health Service crutch. So the didgeridoo, didgerididdn't, the big clarinet thingy, not bad, the National Health Service crutch, who knew? Just for the record, this is not a flute in disguise, it really is a walking stick. Well, if you run out of crutches, I've got, I've got plenty of got... them. I've got, I've got an oh, I think so. If you were a flute player as well, this would be perfect for you. I was suspicious when the holes were different sizes. So, uh, and I wonder whether you could actually sort of uh, in, include a trombone into it by moving the stick up and down. But I think it was fantastic. Clearly, the thing to do is take the stick for a walk. It does turn heads. But for Simeon, it was a natural step in his musical career. I, I saw this uh, walking stick and I, it instantly looked like a flute. It looks like it's got the holes almost in the right place. Uh, and so it was just finding someone who could develop that instrument for me. No problem, we can do that. Make a flute, that's, that's easy. Seriously, what did you have to do to turn a crutch into a flute? Well, you've, you've got a tube, so you essentially have a flute. If you can have a tube and a column of air, you can make it play a tune. And Simeon can play anything. He is, after all, a serious musician. Just not that serious. Danny Carpenter, BBC Look North, Marston. Right, Harry, 